right, a water main break in Boston, flooding roads and T tracks with work to clean it up, stretching well into the night. And tonight's mess adding to an already complicated red line commute. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ed Hart. Hi, everybody. I'm Maria Stefanos. So this is all happening on Dorchester Ave, Dot Ave, right near Ashmont Station. Our Mary Saladna is live right now where water went onto the tracks, Mary. It did. It partially flooded the northbound track, so they shut down the T. The trains have not been running for hours, Maria. Let me show you the epicenter of this mess. It's right behind me here on Ashmont Street. You can see that massive hole in the road. That's not good, obviously, but I will say that you can now see the problem. It's not gushing water. Uh, so, you know, so that's progress. Uh, that people are actually coming and going down in there and getting a visual on what's wrong. So repairs uh, will begin shortly. This is how it looked earlier this evening. You know, water bubbling up, flooding most of the streets around Peabody Square. The actual water main break at Ashmont Street, where it meets Dorchester Ave, as you said. Uh, at one point, there was easily five to six inches of water rushing through these streets. We did canvas the area, and most businesses appeared to have dodged the flash flood, and they did remain open. But as you said, um, water shut down the red line, and free shuttle buses had to be brought in to run between Ashmont and JFK UMass. Now, how long will it take to clean this up and make repairs? Uh, we are talking to the communications director for Boston Water and Sewer. He is on scene. Um, he says, you know, definitely well into the night. Expect that this will affect your morning commute. You won't be able to use this intersection, that's for sure. As for the MBTA, we're told that that is being evaluated on an hour-to-hour -hour basis. So